We're very excited to be here today and announce Synthetic Vision Technology by Garmin on our diamond product line starting right now, effective immediately with the DA40 Diamond Stars. The option price on the DA40 will be just shy of $10,000, $9,995. Um, and I think that is an amazing proposal, and we really commend Garmin for making such an amazing technology available at a price that's actually affordable you know, to the general aviation pilot. Um, there's a lot of investment that Garmin put into this product, and for us being able to price it at a price that a lot of people can actually put it in their airplane is just really amazing. You know, typically, these systems in the past, some jets were $300,000, $200,000, inaccessible for people that fly piston aircraft. But with the system, Garmin has actually made it feasible to put it at a price point that is attractive and that we really think everybody should be buying it. Well, what we've currently announced, of course, Garmin went out with their announcement that we certified it. Uh, we certified it actually last Friday. We went out with the release um, here early this week. Um, Cessna announced their plans to put it on their aircraft fleet. Diamond here today announced uh, the certification on their aircraft, uh, and they'll begin deliveries very, very shortly. Other OEMs are working their plans for release, but all the G1000 customers will be available to uh, provide this technology. This type of technology, this kind of presentation, has been um, with the company since the inception of G1000, is to have this kind of, of depiction, uh, particularly the terrain, um, on the G1000. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. With synthetic vision, you no longer have the, the classic blue over brown. Um, so we have to draw an additional line to help you understand where that blue over brown used to be. Gives you an idea of the, the flight level, um, your level flight line. So yeah, you have pathways, we call them pathways, uh, which is our implementation of a highway in the sky type of technology. Um, the boxes are uh, color-coded relative to the type of sensor that you're using for navigation, the magenta of course is uh, correlated to GPS and the green for ILS uh, and also on a, on, a, on a typical flight plan there'd be colored magenta for your current active course and the future course. A good way to look at this is if you're off course and you're looking down you can see how the box is lined up and where it turns white uh, past the next waypoint. That little white dot is traffic and we draw traffic relative to, I mean traffic you've always known you know the bearing distance range. Now you can just see it on the screen we show it above or below relative to your current altitude um, in, a, in a very accurate depiction in a 3D, three-dimensional world. If you have a runway selected in your flight plan, it actually will highlight that runway, and as you uh, come close to the airport, we show an airport sign that shows the identifier of that airport. So if you're in a crowded airspace like you are in Florida, we'll highlight the airport if it's in your flight plan. We also put a little airport signs, and you can read the identifier off that airport sign. Um, and as you get closer for these runways that have multiple runways or airports that have multiple runways, we actually show the runway letters, you know, one, one eight left, one eight right. Uh, when you get close enough, it'll, it'll actually show those runway letters uh, on the actual airport. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Some of the retrofit plans will depend on the aircraft configurations and given that this is you know, late breaking news, we don't have a schedule yet that says if your aircraft comes with a G1000 KP autopilot in this software version, here's the three steps you need to do. If it comes with this and this and this, here's the one step. But we will come out with that over the next several months and as I said, the plan is 
to make it as widely available to our installed base as possible. If it's just this upgrade being done, it should be very much less than a, than a day. I mean, it's a, it's a software up, upgrade. You install the software, you install the loader cards and a new terrain, a uh, couple of terrain database cards, uh, and that pretty much takes care of it. You have to do a little bit of configuration work, uh, but it's a very, very straightforward upgrade. Uh, as, as earlier um, talked about by Heike Larson from Diamond, um, it, 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 we believe it would be a tremendous benefit to safety and situational awareness. It's all, about, you know, it's all about how much time do you have to process in the cockpit, right? Mm -hmm. When you're flying, how much, how much do I have to think about other things other than you know, flying the airplane and controlling right. the airplane? We feel that this reduces the amount of workload the pilot has to do just in, in his mind, thinking, uh, to understand where he is and where things are around him.